The following segment is sponsored by Dominion Energy. Wind power is blowing into Virginia. Dominion Energy is building the largest offshore wind project in the United States. The project will be located 27 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach. Last summer, construction began on the first of three different phases. When the whole project is completed in 2026, it will produce enough zero carbon electricity, clean energy, to power more than half a million homes. And joining me now, we have our former coworker here at WSA9, Peggy Fox. She's now with Dominion Energy. And also Dr. Seifer Rahman, who is an expert in renewable energy and Virginia Tech engineering professor, and also the founding director of the Advanced Research Institute at Virginia Tech. He knows everything about this. Yes. Thank you all for being here. You're welcome. Two Hokies, yes. I have to add. <laughs> Peggy, first talk about for Dominion, the push to get clean energy and why having this project going on is just so important. Well, Dominion Energy is committed to reducing carbon emissions. In fact, we've already reduced 50% in carbon emissions since 20 since 2005 and we're doing more we're building solar we'll, we're building this offshore wind project our goal is to be the most sustainable energy company in the country we are shaping a clean energy future for virginia take a look at the numbers here for this project uh, it, it is the largest as you've already said the largest offshore wind project in the country there's only one other wind project and this is the first built by an energy company and wow. the largest it'll produce more than 2600 megawatts at peak that's enough clean energy to power 650,000 homes it's that's huge incredible. it's a great opportunity to bring clean energy to Virginia, it's yeah. more clean energy. We're hearing so much about the environment right yeah. now, so you have to be proactive about this. Dr. Rockman, of course, people are seeing the first of three phases start, and they're saying, what's this gonna do to my beach experience, right? For you, what, what is this process like? What are people going to experience? Well, let me tell you from a viewpoint of a citizen, mm -hmm. when you talk about a power station to be built, people ask three questions. Okay. Number one, will I see it? Hmm. Will I hear it? Will it create a problem for my health? Right. Three things. Yes. We put those three th questions for wind turbine on the ground, answer is yes most of the time. You can see it, mm. you can hear it, and you can have issues with bird migration impact. If you go, Very in good. this case, 27 miles offshore, you don't see it. Why not? Even the binoculars, because it is below the horizon. Mm. You don't see that. I know we're showing one of the that's graphics right. that exactly shows right. how it actually works, that's right? That's where you don't, you don't see that, number one. Number two, okay. so far out, you wouldn't hear anything that is bo bothering you, wouldn't bother you. Mm -hmm. And people talk about bird migration. Right, I never thought Birds of migrate from north to south in winter time. When okay. mi we have the studies. When they migrate, they hug the coast. They want to catch fish when they go down, right? right. If you go out 30 miles into the ocean, no bird is there, they're all close to the shore. So we are not worried about birds flying through the turbines and get hit. That's why they are pretty clean in my, my judgment. Now, for some of us to try to visualize, we may be seeing the wind turbines in land areas, but out 20, with 27 miles 20, out? It's federal waters, right? It's so okay. far out, you won't be able to see it from land. So you'll okay. have to go out on a boat to see it. But how but tall are they? If we would be out there, <laughs> what would we expect? Very good question. <laughs> the wind turbine comes in two parts. One is a tower, then okay. a blade on top of it. And this okay. a tower is 360 foot above the, exactly, water level. Another mm. 250 foot on top of that. If you add the two numbers, 614 feet, that is 60 foot taller than the Washington Monument. Wow. That, it's that, big. That you put that in your mind. Exactly. Yeah. When you think of the Washington Monument. When will we start seeing this sort of electricity playing a part in our own homes? Well, the first two turbines are 6,000 kilowatts each, so 12,000 kilowatt total. Okay. They'll be coming online in 2024, expected, mm -hmm, that's 2024. Right. Yeah. Okay. And the remaining 400 of them will come online 2026. Mm -hmm. okay. But the question is, what is 6,000 kilowatt? Does mm -hmm. it mean, what does that number mean? Yeah. We live in this area, we have a lot of homes with rooftop solar. Typical size of rooftop solar is six kilowatt, six kilowatt, one rooftop. From your solar. Talk, from your one mm -hmm. solar. Now you talk about 6,000, that means 1,000 homes like mm -hmm. that. Wow, it's yes. gonna make a big impact. Transformative. We're gonna watch that. I know we have a few years to go yet, so we'll watch it. Thank you both for being here, Thank educating you. us, Thank and you. helping us get a cleaner environment. For Thank more you. information, you can also visit dominionenergy.com.